Hey sisters, Donna Parto here, welcoming you to day 46 of our 90 day renewal in spirit, soul, and body. Today I want to talk to you about something very, very practical, and that's incorporating olive oil into your diet. You know, I have several um, extended relatives who are over 100 years old, and the interesting thing about them is that they are all on different branches of the family tree. So in other words, it, it's not genetics. So what is it? Hmm. Well, it could be a lot of things, but one thing that all three of these people over 100 years of age have in common, actually there was a fourth one that lived to be over 100 now that I think of it, you know what they had in common? They were all Italian, and they all ate lots of Italian food with olive oil. Hmm, something to think about, isn't it? Let me, I want to share with you a little bit about the research. Now, no doubt you've heard of the Mediterranean diet, and... Uh, Research is probably very close to what Jesus ate, by the way. He consumed lots of olive oil. Um, I've been to the Mount of Olives in Israel, heard of the Mount of Olives, that Jesus had lots of olive oil, no doubt, and olive products, something to think about. The low-fat craze in America is really what turned the tide. I mean, that's when we really became an obese nation. And the low-fat craze was the biggest scam ever. Because low, low fat was really just code word for tons of sugar. They took out the fat, but since Americans, you know, like tasty things, they just packed in sugar. And low fat foods were horrible for you. And that was exactly the time. Remember low fat yogurt and low fat cookies? It was exactly the time that Americans really started becoming morbidly obese. And I think it might just be... Uh, you know, might just be something to look at. See, good fat is good for you. Good fat is good for you. And specifically, I want to recommend extra virgin olive oil. That is the ideal. Olive, olive oil, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's anti-inflammatory. That's important because inflammation is not only linked to arthritis and other autoimmune diseases like um, you know, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. It also causes premature aging in general. Olive oil is a wonderful antioxidant. Researchers are increasingly convinced that oxidative stress is at the center of all degenerative diseases. So if you can introduce antioxidants into your body, you're going to be way ahead as far as preserving your health. Researchers found that those who consume the most olive oil had an 82% reduced risk of heart attack compared with those who rarely consumed olive oil. It significantly de decreased both their, um, their, their uh, cholesterol and blood pressure. There have been several case studies conducted in, uh, throughout the Mediterranean area, the population groups there, and they found that women who consume olive oil on a regular basis are 70% less likely to have breast cancer than those who do not. Wow! These are pretty strong research findings. So my challenge for you is a simple one. I want you to begin incorporating extra virgin olive oil into your diet. And an easy way to do that, sisters, is to, when you do your eggs in the morning, cook them in olive oil. And then when you have your salad, put a little bit of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Make your own little homemade uh, salad dressing. It's absolutely wonderful and good for you, too. Begin doing it. Make a little change to make a big difference over time. That's it for today. I'm Donna Parto with your 90-day renewal in spirit, soul, and body.